the Prince of St. Clair University, or PSU, Phuket Campus, Faculty of International Studies, gave an orientation or preparation seminar to almost 400 of its students going to China this March and April for credits towards their Greek degrees. Their guidance, presentation, and booklet in Thai and English builds on their experience over the past seven years, or since 2002, when they have taken their students on their summer courses to cities in China. In 2002, the first group of students from the International Business China, or IBC, degree course went to the Yunnan University of Traditional Chinese Medicine in Kunming, before expanding to other universities in China. With an increasing number of PSU students, they varied the universities each year, so students are exposed to different places and institutions in China. Entering into the eighth cycle of this academic program, this year they are taking students to eight different universities in China. To ensure that things go as smoothly as possible, they give this orientation to all students traveling to the Orient. The Vice President of PSU, Dr. Meiti Sun Banij, revealed the trip costs PSU about 19 million baht, so the orientation is very important. Orientation is uh, about uh, the program that we have with the Chinese University. Uh, we have done this uh, program for now it's eight years that we uh, bring a student to go to China to study over there in the University of China in different provinces. So this year we will bring about 388 students to go to study in eight universities in China in different provinces. And what is the purpose of this uh, management is we would like the student to take these two programs, I, I mean uh, international business with the concentration in China and the Chinese study program. Those students will have a, a direct experience in the real environment of China. So by this kind of arrangement, it will be very beneficial to our students. So they can learn more in the real situation. The Dean of the Faculty of International Studies, Ajahn Subachai Sangpua, explained that eight PSU staff accompany the students and also arrange exchange visits by Chinese students who come here to study. After PSU students go to China, so there is good cooperation. Students uh, of this faculty uh, are learning in uh, three programs. Uh, there are Chinese studies, international studies with the concentration on China, and another one is uh, high studies. All programs uh, have a position uh, with uh, universities abroad and uh, in country as well. And everybody, uh, students and all teachers, uh, must go abroad every year to enhance their experiences and to deal with people because the, uh, our concentration is the area studies. And uh, so it is the policy of the faculty that uh, everybody must go abroad to, to work with our uh, foreign colleagues. Moderator and advisor to the Dean, Pimapon Suwatikul, gave some honest advice and encouragement in both Thai and English to the first-time students. Some of the more experienced students at the orientation proudly keep movies and photos of their previous visits to China. Dr. Yao Yi Ming, Associate Professor from Shanghai University and currently Director of the Confucius Center of PSU, feels that although for some first-time students the culture difference is sometimes a shock to adjust, it is still a very good project. This is a very good practice for this new students in China. And uh, in Chinese we have a saying, uh, you hear a lot of things, but when you see it's much better. So we call it Bai Wen Jian. You know, here when students have learned a lot about uh, China, but if they do not experience uh, what is the real situation in China, 
they can not make full use of what they have learned from the textbooks. After going to China, you know, they first they practice their Chinese and uh, they can see how well they have learned. At the same time, they will improve a lot in language. Second, they can know the real situation, what China is like. And it is true as we heard from uh, the teachers. Uh, so they may have a very vivid experience of feeling about China. And third, I think it is very good for students to learn the humanities surroundings, to know more people, to know the customs, uh, to know, you know a lot of uh, uh, historical facts, and uh, they will have a deep understanding about China. It can't be easy to read and even harder to write Chinese with the many different forms and dialects. But these students are well taught and well prepared to learn from real life experiences there. And they also have to make detailed reports in English on their return, so they are multilingual. One of the third year students, Pimon Sao Kuo, 21, originally from Hat Yai, now studying in Phuket, told us how she enjoyed and benefited from her previous visits to China. Uh, now I'm third year and I have been to China in Kunming and also in Beijing. The first day in Kunming. This is the first time we go to Kunming that I'm very excited. What I expected is Chinese friend, my first city and the culture in Kunming because Kunming is a very culture in that is the most uh, worst culture in the China. So, and there I have a group of good members. They are very, very good. When I second year I go to the Pronto, I come back to me to meet them again. But, uh, and for study, uh, here we study the basic Chinese that help me in pronunciation because we have learned some basic is from Thailand and there we improve our pronunciation and learn the very Chinese culture. But because we know from teacher from here it's just the uh, whole picture. So but in the small place it is very different. And here because Kumi is a small town so people are very friendly and they they really love Warren and I think they love Thailand because in Kumi have married Thailand people. So here we got friends and improve our pronunciation and learn about uh, their culture on and I most enjoy is food because food in Kumi is very different from Chinese as I have known. It, they are quite spicy. The experience helped her to recently win third prize in a national contest for Chinese speaking and dancing. But Thailand may lose her good skills as she hopes to work in China in the future. Let's hope she and all the students return to Thailand better enriched and confident in their Chinese skills. <laughs>